in the event that you have two different variables that are of different scales and you want to plot both of these variables in in the same chart itself we want to go for dual axis time series plot so this is y axis 1 this is y axis 2 for one of the axis you want you want the line to be like this and the other axis you want to color the line differently all right but you want both of these lines in the same chart the scale of the y axis 1 is completely different from the scale of the y axis 2 they can be completely different scales we just want to analyze how these two lines are changing with respect to each other in the same chart that's why we are making a dual y axis line plot creating this is a little bit tricky because in one figure we are going to be embedding two axes but it makes it looks like one single axis what i mean by that is say you have this plot you have this plot whenever you are making a plot you have a figure high level object is a figure within the figure suppose if you want to draw two plots this could be axis one this could be axis two all right but what we are going to do in this case is we are going to be drawing still we are going to be drawing two axes but these axes are going to be overlapping one on top of the other so this could be axis one okay first form your axis one then draw your line right then on top of this superimpose your axis two on the same region you superimpose the second axis while doing this you need to do it in such a way that the original axis one does not get erased off all right so superimpose on top of the axis one and then draw your second line so the output image in the final output you will have both the lines that look as if they are being drawn on the same axis but there are two axes superimposed one on top of the other now how to achieve that it's a step-by-step -step process so we have we are extracting the data the y-axis one is savings rate then y-axis two is unemployment rate now first step create one figure and one axis using plt dot subplots just one figure one axis one comma one all right so we have created it plot it this will create the orange line alone what we just drew right from this the orange line alone will get created on doing this this is the key part this is the maneuver where you are creating a twin of axis one by using twin x all right you form axis two on this axis two draw your second line that's it then on top of axis one itself you do the remaining decorations both axis one as well as axis two so on doing the decorations the lines are colored the lines and the respective labels are colored to match each other so that we intuitively know which axis which y axis to refer to in order to see what the value of that particular line is all right this is a very nice very useful way of drawing a dual axis time series plot now notice the patterns in these two series all right notice the patterns the levels of the series can change over time Already the levels are changing but there are many places where both the series is peaking at the same time this place also this is also peaking at the same time here also both of them are peaking like that might be slight of slightly a lag is present but they seem to be starting to peak at the same time isn't it here also these two are also peaking at the same time but the levels are different for various reasons and as a matter of fact the red line is in is in the scale of 1 to 10 or 1 to 20 probably whereas the blue line is in a completely different scale so in a chart like this what we are interested in is what are the different durations or with different time periods are these two lines moving together in the same direction most of the times when one of the line is increasing is the other one going up or going down or behaving like they are not related to each other so that's what we want to understand from such a chart and from the observation of this there are several instances where they are moving together in the same uniform fashion but it's not consistent isn't it there are several places it is not working also for example in this place this is sort of peaking twice but this is not reacting to it right but there are several other places it is that reaction that tandem behavior is observed so that's how we read a dual axis time series plot